Okay, we're going to do a quick soldering demonstration. I have to admit, I'm not the best solderer, so in a sense, most people can do better than me, so you should be encouraged by that. <laughs> anyway, just getting the soldering iron ready real quick. We've heated it up to about, about 400 degrees. Um, it'll burn you. But just be careful with it and respect it, and uh, you should be fine. So we want to get this thing kind of tacked in a little bit here. I don't have a very good jig or anything, so we're just going to get a little dab of solder down in there. So it'll hold. Again, I will probably have a million people say, this is, you're not a very good solderer, and I know that. <laughs> I am just want everyone to know how easy it is to just do an okay job of soldering. And you can get better at it, as, as I intend to do. And also, equipment's a problem. This tip is probably not the best tip for this. I've been soldering since I was... I don't know, probably 10 years old. I, my friend Mark and I, we had radio controlled cars. And, uh, anyway, a lot of, to make them run properly, <laughs> we often had to solder things. Never quite this precise. And what we're soldering is an accelerometer that I ordered from China a while back. I'm meaning to assemble it. Basically, it came as a little kit. And uh, I just have to install these header pins on here so I can put this thing on a breadboard. See how fast this goes once you get going? And you just want to be nice and precise. <laughs> even I, I've got even a little bit, probably some kind of shaky hands compared to some people since I'm an old man. <laughs> just kidding. Um... Okay, so we've got most of the pins done. And so you want the thinnest gauge solder you can get. Because um, then it doesn't make a mess. And you want an, an adjustable soldering iron that you can change the temperature on. Um, the one I got from MCM Electronics really works well. I think I paid about $20 for it. And, uh,. Yeah, I ordered the. I might have ordered it from Amazon. I don't remember. Amazon or MCM Electronics. They're all pretty good. Um, so yeah, so we've got we've soldered some pins there, um, and so now we've got our, what we call um, stacking header pins that we can use to um, to mount into a breadboard. And yeah, a little more about this board. It's, see the X, Y, and Z. That's uh, for the accelerometer. I have no idea if I can make this thing work, but uh, hopefully we can, um, just to show what we're using for soldering. That's our solder, soldering iron right there. And then um, the, the actual solder we're using, I guess I got this from Radio Shack. And uh, it works pretty well. Anyway, this has been a video from Chicago Electronic Distributors. Um, please check out our website www.chicagodist.com